let's quickly talk about this tape of Elod Swag, the former Big Brother Ninja housemate. He was a contestant in the level up season of the show, the Big Brother Ninja show. I don't know why this is funny. It's not funny. It's a serious matter, but I can't stop laughing. Now, this has been trending for the past hours. The story behind this is that, according to Elod Swag, the person that is in the video, he said he mistakenly uploaded a video of himself having an intimate moment with a lady on his snapchat account at 3 a.m now immediately he noticed that mistake he brought down the video he deleted the video and within seconds uh, there was a certain blogger that carried the video and then distributed it or circulated it on other different social media platforms and there was a tweet he made to disclaim all of these things where he said or he was asking us if he should sue him so he said it was a mistake. I'm trying to imagine how a responsible, sane, educated person will carry his phone, impute his password, and then go to Snapchat where they upload video and click on his and then upload that one. And now say, oh, I did not want to upload this one. Let me quickly delete it and then put a, me dancing, a video of me speaking or dancing or walking. How is that even possible? The same person. And then second thing, you are accusing or blaming a certain blogger for distributing a video. Did that blogger come to your phone, carry the phone, impute your password, and then transfer the video to himself? No, he did not do that. So you owe that very blogger an apology for that insult because you put that video out there in the public space. He saw it and he shared it, which is what you actually wanted. Third, you said it was a mistake. Honestly, it wasn't a mistake. You purposefully, intentionally did that because, you know, when you, you are no longer relevant in the society, you are looking for ways to just chase clout and all of that. I noticed that. I won't blame you. You've lost relevance a long time ago and you're looking for a way to come back to the scene and the industry. But this wasn't a good way. And even if this is the strategy to get back to the industry and, of course, to the eyes of Nigerians, you need to accept responsibility, okay? Agree that I intentionally wanted to do this. Okay, why are you shifting blame to another person, a certain blogger? He is the one that should sue you. It's that particular blogger that you uploaded a video, put in this public public space, and now still come to blame another person. That blogger should be the one to sue you. But unfortunately, the blogger is not interested in it. You are looking for a way to chase clout. Him is also chasing clout. So everybody in Nigeria, you know. But unfortunately, this wasn't a mistake. You intentionally purposefully uploaded that video and um the way you were even acting that was very childish like one village person the way you were holding the lady the way you were doing the whole thing and then putting that woman's face without covering it up i don't know the kind of agreements you have with the lady but at least you should have i don't know it's not fair i'm trying to imagine what the lady is going through right now unless she is an adult content creator and even like that that wasn't fair that wasn't good at all hello swag this is not a good way to come back to the limelight you should have looked for something better a different perspective or strategy to come back not this and still wouldn't accept the fact that you did it and you're pushing blames to just lover just lover do what fiend just love have a soccer song and you do what fiend just love and for so Eh, just love and for so come in wood, you wouldn't then they would in a committee. I come in this.